Hello, today's Nikki Nugget is on car seat tests. A car seat test is not a test that we do on adults or parents where they have to prove that they know how to put the car seat in the car securely before that they can go home, although that test should definitely exist. It's actually a test that we do on all preterm babies, so all babies born at less than 37 weeks before they go home. When a baby is in a car seat, they are in a sitting position or a semi-reclined position as the AAP likes to call it. This puts more emphasis on the muscles in their neck to support their airway. If a baby is born preterm, then they are just kind of like overall floppier or as we say in the NICU, they have lower tone. So you can imagine that they may have more difficulties in being able to keep their airways open. Other babies may also benefit from a car seat test before they go home. For example, other term babies that may have low tone. For example, Down syndrome babies, babies with Prader-Willi syndrome, or babies with any other neurological issues that altogether just makes them a little bit floppier. Also babies with congenital heart disease or babies with any structural abnormality of their airway. So all the way from their lungs, all the way up to the upper part of their airway, including babies with like small recessed chins, for example, infants with Pierre Robin sequence. The test itself is very simple. The infant is literally put in a car seat for between 90 to 120 minutes and the baby's continuously monitored. We're monitoring their respiratory rate, their heart rate, as well as their oxygen saturations. Most car seats have a four pound or a five pound weight minimum. It's very important that the infant is placed in the correct car seat for its weight. So four pounds is about 1800 grams and five pounds is about 2.3 kilograms. The car seat should be in its base at the correct angle and the baby should be strapped in with a five point harness. The car seat should not be expired. The infant could fail the car seat test in one of three ways. The first one is apnea. So apnea is when the baby stops breathing or the respiratory rate goes to zero. So the baby would fail if the baby had apnea for 20 seconds. The second way is if the heart rate goes at less than 80 beats per minute. And the third way is if the oxygen saturation drops below 88%. If the infant passes the car seat test, then congratulations, the infant can go home. If the infant fails the test, then normally the team waits one to two days and then repeats the test, hoping that the baby will have gotten stronger. If the baby repetitively fails the test, then that infant might be a candidate to go home in a car seat bed. Remember that even if the baby passes the test, they should never be left unattended in a car seat. Eventually, their necks will tire and it could put them in a very dangerous situation. So I hope you learned something today. Please remember to comment below with future topics you want us to discuss and remember to subscribe. Thank you.